internet, it is Julia. It is also finals week of the spring semester for me and the final day that I can work on a specific project that I'm about to show you all because it is due tomorrow. So as I face the consequences of my procrastination, I thought it would be a wonderful opportunity to create a video showcasing my process of making this final. So I invite you all to make a zine with me. This final is for my history of female filmmakers class and just a side note if you go to my school and haven't had a class with the one and only jesse hawthorne fix also known as midnights for maniacs what are you doing please take a class with him do yourself a favor because he is genuinely one of the best lecturers i've ever had in my scholastic career so rant about him over. Next, we're going to move on to the different steps that I take in making my zine. So the first step is already done. I figured out that I want to make a zine about female filmmakers. I already figured out which movies I wanted to showcase inside the zine. And the second is I already collected photography or assets as you could call them, photography and graphics, as well as the copy, which is type, that I want to showcase in my zine. The second step is stylistic research and form function. So what does that mean? Stylistic research is essentially figuring out the basic graphic elements that I want to use. So type, um, as well as the look and feel that I want to go for. A lot of the time, I just look over at my Pinterest board. I have a Pinterest board for basically everything, including zines. So I gave that a scroll, got inspiration from really, really well-designed zines already. Um, and also a really good uh, resource is just looking for publications and magazines and editorial um, stuff. And those are just beautiful sources of inspiration when it comes to making zines. As for typography, I love going to this website called Fonts in Use. Now Fonts in Use is an amazing resource for those of you who are like me and can't remember every single typeface that is out there. <laughs> and use is essentially a curation of beautiful typography over the years. It showcases the different typefaces used in a particular artifact as well as who made the typefaces, what agency made it, and so on. While I was doing some research this morning, I ran into Cozy Times. I was able to find this typeface. Um, I was not able to find Dia. However, I was able to find a type that was related to Dia, which is Founders Grotesque. Um, I just find that these forms are so very interesting and I really like the juxtaposition between having something that's so intricate as well as something that's very simple but also um, not too rigid if that makes any sense. I found the typefaces that I wanted to use. I made sure I had them on my computer. Then I went ahead and figured out what form I wanted my zine to take. Now for the sake of familiarity as well as time, I decided to go with the handy dandy pamphlet form and this is what you call a dummy it's essentially scrap pieces of paper that you fold up and make into your zine in order to get a physical representation of what you're going to get in the end i also decided to start marking up the pages which brings me to the third step in making your zine pagination essentially organizing your content into the different pieces of paper i have in purple the different page numbers so this is the front cover and then one two three four so on and as well as in green, the spread numbers. That just helps me visualize things, figure things out. Um, and also, as you can see here in silver, I just have the annotations of what I want to have as content for each spread. I think we're on step number five. <laughs> or six, I don't know, step number whatever is now um, figuring out some kind of master page template on InDesign for me to kind of have a framework to start implementing the different content that I want for my zine. Um, I already played around and I wanted to start with my first film, which is The Consequences of Fem Feminism by Alice Guy. It's such a good film, you guys. It was made in 1906 and she was already addressing the patriarchy and how crazy life would be if women started to work or I don't know starting to fend for themselves um, by essentially reversing the roles of men and women. Anyway with regard to the formatting of each page I wanted to make sure that I had the film title, the year the film came out, 
the director, as well as a literal stream of consciousness of my own commentary after watching the film, um, and then also film stills uh, from the film laid out in a not so rigid manner. Um, I really like the idea of having movement in type and imagery, so this is what we're going to stick to for now. That being said, again, this is just a framework for the things that I'm doing. Um, I definitely am going to stay consistent with the typefaces that I use, um, the size of the type. However, it does not mean that I'm going to stick to where they currently are. Um, that being said, I think that I covered most of the bases, at least in the steps that I take for creating a zine. So now I'm just going to go ahead, get to work. So I hope you all enjoy. Which brings me to this moment right now. Um, I am very proud of the work that I've done, but I'm also very tired. Um, I usually would take a minute and like step away from the screen a little bit and figure out um, when I come back, if there's something that I want to change. Um, but again, for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and finish it up. So the last step of creating your zine usually would be to print it and to build it. However, because I'm turning this in online, I decided to upload my PDF of my zine onto Issue, which is issuu.com. And it's just a great tool when you want to make something that you've made that's a book actually look like a book and be flippable. So here is my final project. Um, I decided to have a really sleek um, front cover and very straightforward. It's called Unwritten, a stream of consciousness about female filmmakers and their films. And I wanted to create a end sheet that is just really, I don't know, tongue in cheek. If I were to summarize everything that I learned in this class in one sentence is that women in film are underrated. Moving on to the next page, this is where my template or my master spread really starts coming into play. Um, I honestly had a really fun time creating this, although it took a little bit of time figuring everything out. I honestly had a great time reminiscing the films that I watched during the semester. And honestly, if you haven't seen any of these films, please do yourself a favor and watch them right now. I know some of them are available online for free and I'm going to link all of them down below for you guys to watch. I am very excited to present this to class and I hope that my process really helped you all. Um, I hope that you guys try making zines if you haven't before. If you have any questions with regard to my process in general, as well as, you know, if you want me to create a video that's specific to the different types of forms of zines and, you know, a little bit more of a broken down process or time lapse, do let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you all soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.